Good morning and welcome to all. We are deeply honored and blessed to have His Holiness at our International Conference on Cosmology and Consciousness. Therefore, I, on behalf of the Library of Tibetan Works and Archives and the partners of this conference, profoundly thank you, Your Holiness. We are conducting this conference in English to save your precious time and for those non-speaking, non-English speaking participants and audience, simultaneous translation is available on FM frequency 90.4. Now I request venerable monks to join the inaugural prayer. And Oh, <laughs> Your Holiness, Venerable Sanghas, distinguished science and Buddhist scholars, respected invited guests and observers from various academic institutions, first of all, I would like to thank Your Holiness wholeheartedly for making time out of your extremely precious and busy schedule to inaugurate this international conference on cosmology and consciousness. It is also my great privilege to welcome you all and to briefly introduce the conference. Out of various activities and responsibilities of the Library of Tibetan Works and Archives, today I would like to give a brief background account of the Monistic Science Initiative program that the institution is supervising for over a decade. Based on overall vision and direction provided by Your Holiness, the Library of Tibetan Works and Archives have so far implemented the following science programs. The Monistic Science Initiative was started in 1999. In the year 2000, the first four-week science workshop was organized for 50 monk scholars. In the year 2001, the LTWA created a partnership with the Sega Family Foundation Boston, and since then, yearly workshops were conducted under the project named Science for Monks. And the above, around 50 monks continued their yearly workshop until 2007. In the light of many changes and growing acceptance of science education among Tibetan monastic scholars, the need to take suitable steps was clearly seen. Two very important and in urgent need were science textbooks in Tibetan English and science teachers. Thus, in the year 2008, a new program called the Sega Science Leadership for Monks was established, not simply as a continuation for Science for Monks project, but to produce science teachers and leaders who will work in their respective monasteries for successfully furthering the science education. For this, we selected around 30 monks out of about 50 monks based on their academic excellence during the past workshops. Under this program, the first cohort consisting 30 monks were graduated in the summer of 2010 after attending six special science leadership workshops. The second cohort of 34 monks and nuns were started in the summer of 2011. Since the year 2000, 30 Western scientists have taught more than 200 monks and nuns under this program about physics, quantum mechanics, cosmology, biology, neuroscience, and mathematics, all with a strong emphasis on scientific inquiry. Under this program, we managed to prepare three science exhibitions in Dramsala, Mangord, and Delhi in collaboration with Smithsonian in Washington Exploratorium in San Francisco. We are organizing another exhibition in Exploratorium in San Francisco in the coming year, 2012, in May. In 2007, Another very important collaboration was established between the Library of Tibetan Works and Archives and the Emory University called the Emory Tibet Science Initiative. This initiative aimed at developing and implementing a comprehensive and sustainable science education program for Tibetan monastics. So far, this program has brought more than 20 science faculty members 
from Emory to Dharamsala to teach and has developed four bilingual and illustrated science textbooks which are to be used in Tibetan monastics as a science textbook. The first year course was offered in 2008 to a class of 38 monastic students and in 2009, second batch was selected, totaling 90 monastic students in these two batches. For this new program, we made a special effort to have more monks and nuns from all monastic institutions with good academic studies. We were successful in inviting monks and nuns from 21 different monasteries and nunneries. This year, 2011, the second and first batches are in their fourth and fifth year, respectively. In 2010, we were able to select and send six monks having best academic performance to Emory University for three years science study. They are now in their second year and taking regular science classes as undergraduate students. After the completion of their study, they will be excellent teachers in their respective monasteries with their science and Buddhist knowledge. In this year, 2011, we have just completed a month pilot project to introduce science to around 18 monastic graduates who are Geshe's, Campbell's, and Lopin's who are uh, present on this gathering also. These monastic scholars will be joining and helping lead the panel discussion on the five themes of this conference. Since these monastics are going to play a very important role in shaping overall education system in their respective monasteries, we felt it will be very useful if we are able to regularly give such exposure to these monks who have already completed their Buddhist studies. And this particular project is funded by John Templeman Foundation of USA. Like the above mentioned science program, this particular international conference on cosmology and consciousness is also aimed to have the exiled Tibetan monastic community as well as others to engage science and to initiate science training that would eventually support new learning at the frontiers of science and Buddhism. Building upon Your Holiness the Dalai Lama's long-term interest in engaging scientists in dialogue, this conference is yet another extension of their dialogue. The three-day public conference will promote the integration of spiritual values and scientific investigations. Discussions will focus on questions such as contemplative meditation, mental states of awareness, compassion, and philosophical inquiries into cosmos and the world of the quantum. The, this conference has brought together Buddhist scholars and Westerns and Indian scientists and classroom education educators into dialogue about topics of mutual common interest. The details of the conference are there in the brochure which we have already distributed. Although Buddhism has little experience with the specific theories of modern science, it has long incurred into the fundamental nature of substance and the nature of the mind. It has thought deeply about ex experience, inference, causality, and the proper role of concepts and theories in our thinking. Even the long history of the physical universe has been the subject of Buddhist reflection, leading to remarkable views, not unlike those being advanced today by cosmologists. The size or types of world systems, cosmos that the Buddha taught was in harmony with the way the various actions are accumulated by sentient beings as universe of various sizes, shapes, and types appear vividly due to the imprints of one's own mind. Thus, just as it had appeared to the followers, various and many types of world systems have been taught in the higher and lower Abhidharma, in text called Njikten Dagwa, Temba Nyersha, Sangji Palbuche, Khandu Jasu, Kala Chakra, and in many other sutras and tantras. In science, we may we say we may even be, the, even be destined to become creators of a universe ourselves, but in Buddhism it is clearly mentioned that we are, or our mind, is in fact the creator of the universe. The Avatamsaka Sutra, in the chapter on the formation of the walls, mentions, then the enlightening being universally good said further to the great congregation, children of Buddha, the oceans of walls have various different forms and characteristics, that is to say, some are round, some square, some neither round nor square. There are infinite distinctions. Some are shaped like wall pools, some like mountains of flames, some like trees, some like flowers, some like palaces, some like living creatures. There are as many forms such as there are atoms in an ocean of the world. Some lands are dirty, some pure, some pleasant, some painful, 
each is different. This comes from the inconceivable oceans of acts. Cyclic phenomena are always like this. One will finally come to a realization of the truth that even in a particle of dust, the whole universe is seen reflected, uh, not this visible universe alone, but a vast system of universes, conceivable by the highest minds only. A common and widely recognized aspect of Buddha's teaching centers about the rejection of speculation concerning the beginning and end of the world, the limited or unlimited nature of its extension in space of a variety of questions which relate the soul of the body and to the cosmos. The so-called 14 difficult questions, Chatru Dasa Kartavastuni, are a systematic presentation of these speculations in summary fashion. The Buddha refused to answer these questions because of the nature of the question asked at that particular time, and also he felt it is more important to address the sufferings of the sentient beings rather than asking too many philosophical questions. Buddhist cosmology is presented in different forms. There are the single world systems, the cosmology of the thousands, the cosmology of innumerable, all with respect to how they are perceived by the mind of sentient beings. Buddhism has never claimed that the world, sun, moon, stars, wind, water, days and nights were created by a powerful god or by a Buddha. Buddhists believe that the world was not created once upon a time, but that the world has been created millions of times every second and will continue to do so by itself and will eventually die by itself. According to Buddhism, world systems always appear, change, decay, and disappear in the universe in a never-ending cycle. In accordance with the Mahayana Buddhism, there is nothing, cosmos included, that exists independently. Our cosmos and what we experience is very much dependent upon our mind and our action. It is due to this great importance of the mind as the creator. Buddha and his teaching primarily focused upon understanding the mind and removing its mistaken states. I feel, I feel we can safely say Buddha is the scientist of the inner world. The Buddhist principle is that everything that is conditioned is a flux of momentary instants, and these moments succeed each other in a perpetual stream. This momentary episodic existence were all mutually caused with no first cause or original cause or uncaused cause, is known as dependent co-arising. All moments in the past, present, and future are causally interdependent on each other, as in the metaphor, metaphor of Indra's net. Indra's net symbolizes a universe with infinite dependencies and relations interwoven among all its members, none of which exist apart from, but only in the context of this collective reality. The original idea of Indra's net is found in the Atharva Veda, where the world is seen as the net of great sh chakra or Indra. Buddhist texts use the metaphor of Indra's net to describe an infinite universe with no beginning or end in which every member is mutually related to every other member. Thus, long before modern science, Indra's net provided an excellent metaphor for what is now recognized as the main quality of the hologram, which is that every area of the hologram contains information on the whole. This means that each one is caused by others and no moments or events exist by itself. Each experience of every individual is casually linked to the entire cosmos and so all sentient beings are interlinked. Dependent co-arising is conceived in two models, infinite linear reactions and circular reciprocal chain reactions. This is the only truly universal law and that is uh, that it operates independently without any governor. It is valid whether any Buddha appeared and gave expression to it or not. This law of causality operates within the web of mutual interdependence, even ultimate realities not outside this law. This includes all mental processes. Realization of this truth is possible by a calm mind that allows detached observation and introspection of the mental processes. A great scholar by the name Molinga Buddha said to Buddha, I have come with a dozen questions, and you have to answer them. The Buddha said, I will answer, but you will have to fulfill one requirement. For one year, year, you will have to be with me in total silence. Then I will answer, not before. For one year, you just be silent so that you can drop the knowledge which you think you already have. When you are empty, whatever, whatsoever you want to ask, I will answer, I promise you. 
The new physics and cosmology of the 20th century are replete with understandings of our universe that challenge nearly every classical scientific notions we have inherited from the 19th century. The new science was predicated on experiment, systematic observation, and theoretical models of a novel type. With the opening of the 20th century, the theories of quantum mechanics and relativity would make incomparable demands on our conception of the universe. They challenged the simple mechanistic accounts of matter and the cosmos we inherited from earlier centuries, replacing them with accounts that shun such pictures. In addition, both quantum theory and relativity grant a new, new prominence, pro, prominence to the observer. The universe is made of stories, not of atoms, said the poet and political activist Muriel Ruki Sir. We have a story of how the universe grew from a jolt of space-time to the splendor of 50 billion galaxies. We have a story of how a broth of molecules on the premier, premier Earth turned into flesh and blood. And we have a story of how one of the millions of species, species evolved to hold those 50 billion galaxies inside its head. The material moves outward in scale from the humans to the cosmic outward in time span from the familiar to the nearly external. The story is about us, about all sentient beings. Science is an essentially human activity, as complex and occasionally flawed as people themselves. Humans throughout history have had a passionate drive to understand the origins of the universe. There is no single question that so transcends cultural and temporal uh, divides both in the past and the present. The currently accepted scientific theory of creation declares that the universe experienced the most extreme of conditions, enormous energy, temperature, and density during its earlier moments. These conditions require that both quantum mechanics and gravity be taken into account. With rel in the manual of uh, life, uh, with regard to the second topic on consciousness, if the manual of life is encoded in our DND, where do we look to find the blueprint of consciousness? Can consciousness could be explained in biological terms using the tools of neuroscience? With our present limited understanding of neural co correlates, it would be impossible to prove it scientifically. But since consciousness is subjective, science alone, which is objective, cannot fully explain the inner life of the mind. If the precise interactions between our neurons could be duplicated with silicon chips, would it give rise to same conscious experience? Can consciousness arise in a complex synthetic system? In other words, can consciousness someday be achieved in machines. What is even more urgent is how can we together bring genuine calmness of the mind? The reason why people are keeping themselves so busy is just to keep a semblance of sanity. Look at the race we are running today in the pursuit of sensual pleasures and not mental happiness. But we are scared of looking within oneself. It is the mind only that creates the multifarious world systems, mentions Abhidharma, Madhyamika Avatara, and so forth. We need to become aware of this reality if we are to have harmony, peace, and stability. In fact, if you look at the word Buddha, Buddha means the fully awakened one, which also implies we are sleeping in ignorance, which is the source of our suffering. In Buddhism, ignorance is the root of suffering. In science also, the word science, which came from Latin word, sanctia, means knowledge meaning much of your suffering, be it related to the body or to the mind, can be removed if you have that needed awareness and knowledge. So the sharing of knowledge of the external physical world and the internal mental world between modern science and Buddhism, Buddhist science can definitely help reduce both physical and mental sufferings. Science attempts to discover laws of nature by means of careful observation, experimentation, and reason it will become clear that a deep commitment to careful inquiry and valid cognition are also the heart of Buddhist philosophy. Even in ethical discourse, a correct understanding of reality is very much emphasized. Therefore, scientific findings are very helpful to Buddhist thinking. Given that science as a discipline 
and Buddhism as a system of thought both share a basic commitment to openness and initial skepticism. It is important that all the participants have an understanding that there should be total openness in our discussion and a free exchange of ideas with no preset rules. We may not be able to solve all the world's problems in few days of dialogue and meeting, but we can certainly share each other's experience and knowledges and take bold steps towards minimizing the multifaceted problems that the world is confronting today. As Your Holiness has very often mentioned, we can certainly minimize our man-made problems, which are essentially unnecessary problems. We are at a stage where new knowledge will help, will have to come from a much broader collaborative effort. I'm really glad that we have here today a team of con conference participants who are genuine collaborators. Majority of the scholars here are those who have been working with our Monastic Science Initiative program for many, many years. Finally, I would like to thank the Exploratorium, the John Templeton Foundation, and the Segal Family Foundation, without whose support will not have been able to organize this conference so successfully. I also would like to thank all the presenters who have come from the long, dis long distances despite their very busy schedule. I also especially like to thank Tibetan Children's Village for uh, extending all the necessary cooperation. And finally, I would like to conclude with my folded hands and my deepest prayer for your holiness's long and healthy life and that all your aspirations be fulfilled without the slightest hindrance. Thank you very much. Good morning. And on behalf of uh, myself and also all my colleagues back at Exploratorium, I want to share a warm welcome to everybody here today, and especially to you, Your Holiness. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us this morning. Um, I have a, a, a short and brief job to do, and that is to um, quickly and briefly introduce uh, presenters here today. So I will do so um, um, just going around the table or the chairs. Um, Dr. David Presti is a senior lecturer at the University of California, Berkeley, where he has taught in the Department of Molecular and Cell Biology for nearly 20 years. So Dr. Presti, welcome. Um, Dr. Rajesh Kasturanjan is a professor at the National Institute of Advanced Studies at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. Dr. Christopher MP is a university distinguished professor and deputy head of the Department of Astronomy at the University of Arizona and in charge of academic programs there. My colleague at the Exploratorium, Dr. Paul Doherty, is a senior scientist. He is also a professor at San Francisco State University and he is also the co-director of the Teacher Institute at the Exploratorium. Making his uh, first trip to India, Dr. Bruce Grayson is a medical doctor, is the Chester Carlson Professor of Psychiatry and Neurobehavioral Sciences. He's also the director of the Division of Perceptual Studies at the University of Virginia. And he's also a distinguished life fellow of the American Psychiatric Association. Welcome. Um, across uh, from your holiness is Dr. Cecil Roy. He is a professor of physics and applied mathematics. Uh, professor in charge of the Physics and Earth Science Division at the Indian Statistical Institute in Calcutta. Um, Dr. Pema Dorje is a senior advisor and member of the governing body of Mansi Kong, the Tibetan Medical Center. And Geshe Lopsang Tenzinnegi is a senior lecturer at Emory University in the Department of Religion. He's also the director of the Emory Tibet Partnership and the co director of the Emory Tibet Science Initiative. Sitting next to uh, Geshe Lopsang Law is um, Geshe Nimatashi. Geshe Nimatashi uh, is a Geshe from Sarah Monastery, and he's been quite active over the last 10 years in bringing science education to the monks in South India. And also, uh, Ken Rinpoche Jongshup Shodan is the Geshe and Abbot at Ganon Sharse Monastery. So thank you and a, a warm welcome to all our presenters here today.
ตาได้ดีกว่าที่ตาตาลอมาญามญองสักเดเอ่อตาจินดีกิตรเดอินทรงดูตุสนาชุมบรีอันตัชเตลิชุยอ่าอันตีจิกทาดะเดตรดินาง
Science Chism Janaya, Rebe Captain Yamado, Rebe Nova Mavatella, and the Tachis of Kamanji. Says I jumped in the Nidi Kalaya, Mitachia, the Kuguji, jumped in the Korangan Namri. Other Ludus of the Gidigi, jumped in the Gi, Lamduna, Nashi Chene. So, sure to Namjik, sure of souls of Mato, jumped in the Kalia, this Sanjik Kari, Chenu Chamuri Chene, Mazibu Cheche. こう、ちゃうちゃうと、そっちに出てきたね、なんとか。それでね、いるさね、千里木、カルシコスロベニア、ダンシェチギアレ。千里木、ちょっとそうすんやら、タムジェチシャチェ。タムジェディダ、えに
所以我就是这样的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的人生活的
Shattered Yanlısıysa <laughs> Sevişiyorlar. <laughs> Tajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajaj
他们讲说,呃,差东亚,巴拉沙的,可都来,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃
Çünkü simli şey değil ya, tonan çeyi ağrı çekti. Çünkü cizor şey değil mi ağrı çekti. Kim zaman şey değil mi? Çünkü de de tonan sağlı çekti şey kutu var. Çöğüden de, nanı çarşanı, de sugu çöğüden de, men sebe çıgı ki, sugu, çıgı ki, biyoloji kalkı, dodan ro, di çıgı ol, da da çöğü, dengi mi edip çeki. Simli. Diki çiğana, semle şiddi çiğana, rengin ki, lügün cunga diydi, ne yapacağım yana. Semle şiddi mi yana, cunga diydi, çok çiğdi. Eni madde yuk yapı çiğdi. Nazar çaya yeme yine, ne var çıkma yine, semle ya, şiddi yedene ki, ne var di, yok, çaya di, yok. Sa dedi yedi tane, şine, emci, emci senedik nalele da, şine, cik, semge, tanrı ya, tonan sağa çık, le dek duva. Dans sus diyen adı, semge şiddi sirle uyandı, semge şiddi diyen adı, cihan yerle bizim işe de o, sonra yedi de şap ettik, şiddi mal var. Konsan olur dedi, çin, kalkıya mevcut edi o, şey de 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 ki, kıdı de, nyordu sabı diye de, cihye cihye, da, semge şiddi sus diye verir mi adı o, nyordu mutun de yok. Dans semge şiddi diyen adı, nyordu de cihye de ne, semge şiddi ne de o, de gol var da. Nyordu de yüye şey, şimdi şiddi yana, tağazı de cangul hızı sorucu, cangul hızı sorucu de, de, e, e, beyni gülü sorucu de, kage peyni olur. Tamam ki, nyordu kore gülü, deyin. Nyordu de san şimdi mülü, şimdi şiddi ne tuşu ki, de çetu ay olur. Kanda oğan şi, e, çoğa dedicek, yelü kanka çoğa dedicek, çoğu çoğu, on bir şeye kanka çoğa dedicekle, Yilu kanka çoğa dedi o diye, ki nüve çay da, şu çay yöve indi tane, Yilu kanka çoğa dedi o te, da dünge nyon rağcı da, deva şu şun rağcı ki, da tabşi çeki. Yilu kanka, lo çang çeki, tabşi çeki yarı oda. Nalı nyamnyum tane kalı kansı, şey tuğdu var. Şu an dinle indi tane, ta, da di Yilu kanka çağın saydı, namcı çıgı, namcı ki ya, kansan pengi yarı, yine di çıgı remindu, Şempen ki taksam seyirdi, zor edi var. Sa dinle indi tane da şine sem ki diki ki kalı tanan sağlı ki leyun ne ala sem ki diki di men senin ayı amare tücel denin ayı amare sem ki diki di sem kuran ki canda çebe tane yonku yiyip indi tane da sem ki namşak şey oldu var. Da da sem ki namşak ki tanan sağlı ki leyun indi tane Nucu ve rigsak çenci tadı bodu çi ngobul ye şimcü şeyden mağda çenci bu rengi no tu şimcü şeyci andı çoğun yamak var. Cidden şebesli tene leben nüver ucu gyan 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 gyan. Ta tarı gözü şine ki leve keba ki nüron dözü ve de keba dözü çeke ki şimcü bu şey o ya çay tol den yöndü leben nüver noya ki gen şanda çi gedir ki. Şimdi tanancı da toparlayacak da var. En iyi ne? Şimdi canda çay yöndü, levalı yuvarlı 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 Dur şey indi zane, çizdi de gyağı şun. Gyağı rişun sene mindu da, çöğü rişun sene mindu da, çöğü rişun sene da, tağdan şamata, vipasana, dini bu di, nyamlinli yö denge ki, çöğü rişun di nala, sengu koan dişe mongu sile yim gyor. Tera yine dişe ta koyam indi var. Gönçülü yizi sen deyşen dağ çıgor var. Da anda çoğuz de, sen de canda çeyni, sen de zeşi bir dinginci rukoreyi sayıca. Yani şirakı, doğada şirakı ne yapacağını, kanda yöyni, çöğürlüğü namıcı ki şirak, peki, sosuk doğun, sosuk doğun ve şirak, da lolu yuva dağın uğrayı sayıca ki, kanda şirakı namıcı yöyde ve şun de la, sen de namıcı adı tön gülüyor. Da sancıya ve şunun ara ole, tetişin çeyni, şirakı oğlu, şirş tön gülüyor. Sen de neyin üzerine, sen de namıcı amıgış tön gülüyor. En yeni ağrı şununla sem çarağı yavaşça çekmiyorum. Sadece indi sanjeve şununla 
这个小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院的小院
Ben kazan sandım. Tüşü şimri. Çöküsler diyor da, tüzün yerim oca cengen soru şişe, yani şendirin de ayar için çirli olur. Yani şaşara medeni çeki. Değil de, ben tüşü şimşim. Şendirin mutun içeri yana, tazı, pezir, ben de kanzam için çeki oraya. Ben de çalışma. Bunun çeki mi de var? Ben de ne çeki? Kızın adı çöz asılım sarıkı duruyor, çanağın kanadı var, gezi çoğun, çanağın kanadı kaç işte doydu. Ben kendi de, şey gibi, cidli de şey durdun alalım, çanağın önce yanarı şey gibi. Kanadı rindin yapma ne çıkıyor araya? Ya, ne dediler dedi, ne çamur çeri? Ya, ne ne lavuyuz? Ne lenge dedi, ne dedi, sıkı duğa hazır lavuya deriz. Dini lavuyor da olur. Çeğe de başa dedi de, şadak ta çekir var. O dini şey çeğini, nanzı lavra kağına alalı ya. Rıklım ki tane, lüpti çeğe, çeğe çeğe kuki yiyiz seni, lavuyun, lavuyun. Ta lalini macunu, en dağır çeğe gümdü oda. Sonra dedi yindi, o çeğe gümdü dedi sağ. Çeğe sana da, nanzı da diye sanmıştan kuki, kızın yıl lavuyun dedi. Ta rinbe, rinbe ki. O da, çeğe de gün, tekin işi yedi. Sanje ve şun ne şeşe ve çeğe sınavı madı o. Sanje ve şun, da sanje ve çöğe sen sığmı. Dilimle taşıncı çağır. Budizm için, Budist sayınızı soracak da, sayınızı ile yine üniversal var. Budizm için de şuncu çağır. Çatanka, dinle yindi, diye yava çek koyar ki dümdüzü de karesi ile, rinbe çeyri ile, cidden beni çeyri çağırsana, zımlı yanıza olup, üniversal ile, Kanda çık, lojun teyacı da diye, ekademik sahip çıkıyor. Çöğü geçme var. Çöğü sınavını sosun yanına çıkıyor. Ekademik sınavı da ne çiğ yongi. Da kanda çık, şişe ne çiğ var da, rıva. Dini yüzü de ne, manzı, gönçü uttan yunalı yöve, çenri kua şey şabı diye de, sudu çık çöğü yiyinna, da de, ekademik sahip çıkıyor. Çöğü sınavı da çöğü yiyinna, da de, ekademik sahip çıkıyor. Çöğü sınavı da çöğü yiyinna, da de, ekademik Kesin longgu ne mukoc tu ni, macam kenyu tenyu putus sunjai na ni, mana kamu rekod dah, cik sem kamu rekod dah, terang terang, seni kita seni ni, cahsan tu suatu cecah, cik cok tu cok tu cecah kau ini seni, di kasur ni, macam dah rindu samjaru si di seni ini apa, anda lalai kaya ni, dah persis tu cahsan tu cut sari, ini teruk ko di seni cik cecah. Nangshu Ram di Nangbae Tung Dari Ma Do Zimni Jilun Raya Kake Yamari Ta Nangshu ki Lekwam Nane Sung Shai Ve Ani Chenri Ki Desen di Zimni Jilun Raya Chi Cha Dio Arwa Shasang Wa Din Di Yindu Ta Ngharang Zhu Ta Di Din Jek Tuan Ni Ta Shisa Di Nang Lo Li Ya Chi Lega Chingye Ki Ki Gen Lop Dien Shia Tung Yen Yik Yu Tuk Yen Ta Mang Gu Tuan Bok Do Ba So Ta Ngang Zhu Di Lian Gen Jik Re Shia Eh ni jenbe jenbe lagi, tangga rancu ni labrak kan alor le, tadi tu saya yang jual tu je, rancu dia rawa lumba nak dek, ni pas dek gemil ya, eh ni pergi, eh ni cerita rishun kiri dia betul, zaman suki cerita ni tu pas kelor suki cepat dek yari, susu dek rancu rawa lumba nak yari dek rancu, pergi jauh tu, pergi nang, pergi cerita tapi dah main kuda mana, cik pergi nang alor cik, kasur pergi zoom itu dia betul cik. Tap tisap itu je, pernah ni kerohim tu ka? Nanti orang lumba nak lola, aduh tuan tuh muda, jauh tu ka? Cakap ada tu je, tang nanti ribut jim ni, suk jauh ada, suk kaya semua risha. Tapi anda setia ni, tapi nanti ceri kau dia ni, teng nut kasur dia, riksa ke ceri kau dia ni, nanti pergi nak lola, cakap nanti lihat dia je. Nanti Sanjie ve Shungi Nalo ne Sung Shai ve Sengi Chengi Gua Di Diye Tan Zabulun Pa Kasuri Deng Tu Chi Ki Ta Gehi Na, Yinji Na, Hindi Na Eni Gehi Shina Ta Zwa Shai Di Diri Shai Ta Di Di Kanzu Pa Deng Tu Chi Ki Ta Di Di Kanzu Ta Mi Gu 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 Ta Mi Jai Ta Mi Jai Gyo Gu Shim Jai Ri Shai Kanzu Ta Mi Jai Tan Gu 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 Chi Tu Nye Chi Eni Di Ne Nga Ran Zu Lab Jai Nalo Le Andal Le Vyar Na Shin Ki Cari ni ada nangshu ki, 
Sizlerin Çamzı peygu kısılabdı, çamzı şevye kecüsüri. Dende yendi, çamzı mo, di tu kanla dene çoğun, gen kanla dene çoğun. Da di yedi, eni şey olur oda. Da çamzı genda şedan, kınzin. Da di yedi, mo kandı yiyip. Gü karı yiyip, nelin gü karı yiyip. Gen karı çıkıyor. Da di yedi, şey tuna, da çazan çeke. Ne de başa edip yiyip. Da çamzı yerge tanacak geçişiz de ne? Çamzı kısılabdı, şevye Hazırda rigjiriz. Şu zaman şeve şey map of mind o emotion. Madde ben zamburi de hazırda çünkü sadece çünkü sadece çünkü rola ne la sabırlı şey kurbas sabırlı şey başa. En dini de den rüyayın diğün rol diğün rol şey şey kurar. Den anji çamzış be o çoğunu çamzış sabırlı ne la semkamlı bir diğün rol. Çamzın genda karayım. Di tüm bir gen karayım. Gergen karayım. Di di ne alı sabırlı di şazan şembe şey. Di şembe tane, yani dürüce çamzı di, buradan gergen di yedi seve tane. Tüm yedi yedi dürüve tane, yani doğru yedi, slavi olur. Sa di di yedi, çamzın oda acıp ber var ya, sem, sem kamri kur yedi, çik şen kuaş doğa. Namun çoğuruz doğa mı? Çamzı sıla günü çabucur mu? Gönlü kebe çamzı diye geçişe indi zane semkamri gülü gidi şey oldu. Dedi o hafta kalıya kazıları. Akademik subject dedi maada. Not religion. Religious subject. Dedi de gazı ya çeye açtı ola. Dedi de yine gazı pöge mün di kebezi pöge. Dedi de yağanı zorlu eto. Rine çeye oğanı da çoğun ağası. Rine çeye oğanı da zane semkamri gülü 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 Nandırıcı böyle sürdü samarı bu şey var. Sıra da değil, dendere işe. Sıra da samarıcı böyle değil, nandırıcı böyle konu. Da çemen şun gibi, denge çamın namcı da bu çay şana, nandırıcı böyle şun çadı yarı. Yeni, zayi çemen cüş, çemen de çınan tümü o reyma da, nabaran reyma. Sıra da samarıcı böyle şey, yine çoğu ngatayın da sana samarıcı böyle değil, nandırıcı böyle de lağız şey de, dümdüz de var. Da nandı çenri gol geçiş şey var yine, Tadi nandırıcı böyle rast çeçe, şey bu açı da, den bu açı da, geçim bu reşe. Tıza da di, gıda hazır çanza, yiyom ki durdanıp, di çiğ de şen yiyin diyorsun. Ne de rüzgü rey? Ta lavayı tonu çay çay çadan, tan ruhin. Tüçe. Now I'm leaving. So, my hand now already very cold. So now, I'm trying to reach more warmer place. <laughs> oh, poor, all these <laughs> gentlemen, you have to remain here. <laughs> thank you, thank you much. So I really very much appreciate uh, several years, uh, long time, you really helped immensely the promotion of knowledge about the modern science and meantime this is some sort of the uh, close of contact with buddhist science uh, mainly science of mind something uh, quite useful this is one way i think uh, part of sort of the contribution uh, regarding promo because of the promoting of inner value compassion Om Hartness. I think the human affection, 
human compassion. It's the seed of inner peace, inner strength. That's the universal. All Muslim tradition speaks importance of love, compassion, forgiveness. Uh, so this, uh, I consider not part of Buddhism, but it is something universal value. So, that's all. Thank you.